Hello guys and welcome back to another mod spotlight video. This time we'll be checking out Scrap Everything made by Shadow Slasher 410 and Vlid S. Um, uploaded by Shadow Slasher himself it seems. And uh, what this mod does is it lets you scrap everything. Um, now I'm not doing it because I'm not in the menu. Uh, so I will show you in a second. Here we go. So... When you open up the menu, you'll notice immediately that I can scrap the whole road if I want to. Uh, with other mods, you can even carry it around and blaze it wherever you want. But for this specific mod, you can literally scrap everything you want, no matter what it is in the area. Whether it's these bushes, whether it is a random rock, whether it's an NPC, you can technically scrap them. Um, they have to be dead, though. Just, just saying. Um, you can scrap dead NPCs, like if I can find a mole rat or something. Um, maybe not a mole red, but like a bloat fly. I think there's one in here that I can scrap. So I'll show you guys that in a second here. Uh, so in case you want to scrap... No? Yes? Yes? Wait. No? Yeah, yeah, yes, you can. I don't know why it doesn't highlight. Uh, but yeah, you can you can scrap bloat flies. You can see you get bone and fertilizer from it. So it also kind of gives you materials if you do so. Uh, in case you have some dead bodies lying around, this one could do it. Now, there are other mods that also do the same thing, but they don't really do it uh, with everything. And I always use this one. I'm also uh, using the ultimate one, which counts for all DLCs and everything. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And if you ever don't like these houses and you want to rebuild them, just scrap everything. Just, just scrap absolutely everything. You don't like this building, get rid of it. Uh, you can rebuild it from scratch if you want to. Now, sometimes there are floating objects, because this is clearly not supposed to be a thing in the game. Uh, it, it is clearly not supposed to have everything be scrapped. And sometimes when you remove things like this one, as an example, um, maybe not this one, but some things, uh, you can see through the world. And it kind of conflicts with everything else in the world. And, and then you have a hole in the ground and it looks weird. That's kind of why you can't do it in the base game. And it kind of breaks how things are supposed to look like. Uh, but anyway, I still play with this mod because all it requires is a little bit of self-control and manual adjustment to kind of make sure you don't scrap something that breaks everything, you know? Like there's the mix hole in the ground that you can fall through or something like that. The mod developer has tried to make it as balanced as possible where you can't straight up scrap the ground. You know, you can't actually scrap everything. But they've tried to make it so you can scrap everything that, that possibly can be scrapped without you seeing through the ground to, you know, the level building and everything so it doesn't ruin your immersion. Like I said, the other must do the same thing, but this is my go-to and it is absolutely a must-have for me because I like doing settlement buildings, which is something or building that, that... And I'm probably the only one who likes it, according to what I hear about online. I like building stuff, and I like being able to scrap whatever to get rid of bushes and stuff to clean up a place and make it a military base and, and outfit my NPCs and stuff. And this mod is just an absolute must-have for me when I do end up doing that. Um, here's a little um, video of how it is like if you don't have this mod. You can see that no one, none of the items are getting highlighted, and uh, it only highlights all the main items that it kind of allows you to scrap. In other words, it only scraps base items. It can actually scrap bushes and actually change the visuals majorly. It is very limited uh, compared to this one. And again, with this one, just scrap whatever you want to scrap and you can make whatever base you want to make. Uh, it is important to keep in mind though that um, the, these kind of mods does require self-control like I mentioned. And if you're not careful, you can end up like ruining your own game. Uh, by making a hole. If so, you can always like build over it like this, as an example. Let's say I broke the, the place over here, just blub, and now I can't fall into the hole. But it's still visible and you still have to deal with there being a blank here. So it's not in completely unfixable when you do it, but if you delete these roads, you can rebuild them again. They are there forever. Uh, they, they, are, they are gone forever, I mean. And uh, if you do end up moving one road, as an example, you can see that this is kind of floating now. At this road here. Uh, if you plan on only deleting part of the road, sometimes they're connected in this way, where it kind of makes you have to delete this one in order for it to make more sense that they're gone. And uh, you can also see that it works perfectly fine with NPC nav meshing, so that's not a problem. But that is a problem though is when this kind of stuff happens right here. Uh, again, this works for all um, areas in the game, all main game areas. Now you can also apply it to all like modded areas if you want to. Uh, I think you have to change the INI for that, but you can look at the mod's actual page uh, if you really want that one. 
Uh, I will leave a link to the mod in the description. I think I forgot to say that in my last mod video, but I will leave a link uh, in the description um, for the mod in case you're interested in it and want to use it. And make sure to read the actual description the mod developer says, because sometimes they say something very important in order to not crash your game or ruin your game. This one doesn't crash your game. There are just certain things that you can change that actually helps the mod perform better uh, if you go into the INI and file and change your stuff. Um, but that's all gonna be. That's, oh, the, sorry, that's gonna be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this mod spotlight video. If you did, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Hope to see you in another one of my sp mod spotlights or um, the, the, the mod on my list place. And as always, stay awesome. <laughs>